way better looking than it was this morning. A little bit of sunlight makes it so you can see a little better with all this wind. It dumped hard last night. We're still working at the post office. Had to go do a little run to get some fuel for the blower really quick but look at this it it snowed a lot I'm surprised huh? we're in March and now it's finally dumping here I'm pulling into the post office Mike's here doing the loading dogs here in the back. But as you can see, let's see if I can get in. Look, okay, you can barely see those tires. Let's say a good two to three feet it snowed. It was, it was great. Well, we're gonna try and make our way to Canyon. white out wow left it actually looks way better in my phone than it actually does outside here you can see the the trees and here I can clearly see the trees through the camera <laughs> that's pretty cool but yeah we're gonna try to go to Canyon see if it clears out a little better there it is we have some decks that we're taking care of over there hopefully we can make it up there Made it. Super windy up here. It's higher. Look at all this snow. I can't even get into the garages no more. Oh yeah. Finally, finally we get a good dump. Great, great, great. Super windy. decks be a good one good day you can see right there that that tire right there on the right that that thing is not even spinning he's just going cruising cruising without even spinning that that's not good right there not good at all We're here at the warming hut. You can see all from the town pushing it in. They broke the window right here. And all the all the marks from town. Well, doing a good Samaritan deal. Got the loader. I'm gonna pull out a highway patrol. Just hit an embankment and no big deal. Cloud Brothers to the rescue.
super crazy like they were saying. It'd get a significant amount.
Well, got the nine bolts holding the auger in right there. Have to get it over to the bench and see you about getting it fixed. And if nobody's ever seen this is the cover over it, all the little electric motors and stuff like that. So we'll see if we can't straighten this out and get it back together. Closer view broke right there. So we'll see what we can do. Well, I guess when it broke, lost a piece. So after lunch, I've already started. I'm gonna fab up some new angle pieces like that. And then that top piece and weld it up. Got that welded, built up the holes a little bit. Use the Dremel to make the shear pins nice and tight. So we're looking good. What's Ian, up? stop by. Here's my thumb. It's getting there. Got a whole hand. <laughs> he still has the other one. <laughs> <laughs> well, got the auger back in. Piece of fix down there. Had to put a little extension on it. And gonna fire it up and see how she works. Should be just fine. Right, I gotta tighten up. Couple more things before I can fire it up. Good morning, everyone. We're all loaded up. We had uh, we made it through the storm. So I hope you guys enjoyed that series of videos. Um, I know some people were complaining about me almost running over Bud, but um, I was actually paying attention and got close, but he wasn't in any real danger. We're used to him riding with us all the time beside us and stuff. He's pretty much knows how to stay out of the way of the heavy equipment and the ranger. But um, today we're going to head south. So I uh, just want to uh, get a nice road trip here. So follow along and uh, let's see how it goes. Well, we just met Brent over here at his hangar. And you can see, just doing a quick video all the snow that got behind the door here yeah so the wind was blown what did you say that wind was it was a 50 60 sustainable knots or 50 What's that? what was the wind they sustained uh i think they said it was I think she said it was uh, sustained at about 60 knots. 60 knots. So that's that's what causes this getting behind the door, actually. Yep. You can see it got behind the door. Going over the top of the door and falling in. Yeah. I'm, I would imagine we're going to be getting some calls from Pat because when I was looking at these coming in, I saw some pretty heavy drifts on the backside of these parapets. Oh, yeah. So but Brent's going to get in here and get his, his airplane uncovered, and uh, we're going to get on our way here. He's got, like he said, his three hundred thousand dollar airplane with snow all over it in the hangar. This this door here, you can see it broke. It broke out of those, and we'll be getting a call to repair this door. Um, I'm certain sooner than later. But they just had this is an actual drift in front of these hangars, and uh, we just sustained 
quite heavy winds. I've been talking about it the last few videos, but you can see some of the damage that occurred down here at the airport. So uh, we just had a meet with Brent real quick and have a quick chat with him. And uh, now we're gonna head on back up to Mammoth and just look at that view, guys. It's, it is just beautiful, just beautiful. I imagine our, our good friend Pat down here will be giving us a ring to get up on these roofs and clear them because they definitely don't want to end up in the same predicament they were in last season. I want to get this stuff cleared. Uh-oh, looks like somebody uh, ended up in the ditch here. Yeah, if you hit these... Uh, you hit these drifts right here it'll catch your wheel and send you luckily they didn't roll 